Now, what about listening to some music while you swim? There you want to look at the Swim Bud Sport waterproof headphones. 70 bucks. They are snug fit and they have a tight water seal. They have different types of headphone tips, so they fit whether your ears are small or whether you've got Dumbo-sized ears. Uh, but here's the deal. The seal that they create is powerful enough so that as long as they are in your ears before you make the plunge, you won't get any water on the inside. And then add to that a waterproof MP3 player, like the underwater audio waterproof iPod shuffle. This one's a 200 bucks. I know your phone is basically waterproof, but just for short periods of time. So how do you listen to music with those brand new waterproof earbuds? Well, that's why you want a waterproof MP3 player. All right. It only holds two gigs, but that's enough for a couple hundred songs or a handful of podcasts. And as I mentioned, your phones are water resistant. Now you got the iPhone 8, 8 plus, the 10, also the Google Pixel 2 and the 2XL. Now you have to remember just water resistant is not the same as waterproof. Okay. Uh, all three current iPhones and the Google Pixels that I mentioned are designed to survive in up to like 10 feet of water for 30 minutes. So basically, if you accidentally drop one of these phones in the pool or you get pushed in, you don't have to worry about getting it replaced anymore. But you really need a good waterproof case if they're, if you're going to have your phone around water. So that is the life proof, uh, waterproof case. They're about 35 bucks and it works up to an hour in water up to six feet deep. Now, of course, in addition to this, if you want an underwater camera, uh, the GoPro Hero Sessions pretty hard to beat. And so if you're planning on playing any water-based sports this summer, uh, this is a great little camera to document the fun. It captures 1440 at 30 frames per second or 1080 at 60 frames per second. And uh, then add to that a waterproof fitness tracker. That's the Fitbit Flex 2, 60 bucks. All right, it can track your steps, your calories, distance. It was designed to be swim-proof, meaning it will survive if you wear it in the pool or you take a dip in the ocean um, or you can use the apple watch three that's what i wear and for me sitting by the pool then you want a waterproof kindle it's the kindle oasis is that one that's the model number it took them 10 years but they got a waterproof kindle it has a bigger screen physical page turn buttons support for audio books and it's really kind of a sweet little thing and then, of course, finally, we have protection for your non-waterproof devices. That's where we want to look at a dry sack, dry bag. They're about $20. Uh, it keeps all your electronics in there. You put your phone case, your earbuds, your speaker, your MP3 player. Or you could use a Tupperware case or a Ziploc bag. Just don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone if you have your phone in a Ziploc bag that you actually listen to the Kim Commando show because that's kind of embarrassing to me.